standing ovation for Tony Kukoc here at the First Union Center. It will be interesting to see how he fits in because I know he doesn't know the plays. See what he does when he gets in. But he's a scorer, Austin. Yes, that's right. Well, when you got when you left the Cavaliers, how long did it take you before you got in the flow down in Dallas? It didn't take me long. I didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't think so at the all. The first thing I want to know is where, where which plays are mine and where yeah. do I shoot from? <laughs> Two coach from the baseline, going to attack the rim. Gave it up to Ratliff, who sends it down strong. Two coach from deep, and knocks it down. 34-29, Sixers. Kukoc will put it on the deck. Terrific look to McCullough, who put it down. Plus one more coming from the line. Kukoc putting it down now and fading away and draining that jumper. Biggest lead of the night for the Sixers. It's at 23. Back clock at six. Allen Iverson's got a strip away. Look at the bounce pass to Kukoc. Kukoc standing up on the glass. Oh, spectacular finish for Tony Kukoc. Two coach for three. Yes. Can hopefully get home court in the first round. Iverson to two coach. One more time for the three ball for Tony Kuko. Two coach. Tony Kuko coach with the gun. Three minutes into the fourth. Tony Kuko coach to coast. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a guy 6'11", a left-hander, handling the ball right there. Between his eyes, our test guarding Kukoc. Kukoc pulled back and knocks it down. Kukoc oh, receives a nice ovation. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Iverson gets a little fancy with Snow. Kukoc, that's a three. It's good. Tony Kukoc knocks it in. Kukoc again working over West. The 360, and he gets two more. Nicely done. The six tie here with a three-pointer. Tony gives it up, beautifully done to George Lynch, Tony Kukoc. Getting Vancouver's first points in their last four minutes. Allen Iverson strokes the news, compliments of Tony Kukoc. Here are the Sixers now out of the timeout. Kukoc. Tony Kukoc really beginning to look very comfortable now as the Sixers drop 18 tonight. He's fished off for eight others. Past the halfway point of the fourth. Kukoc probing, just a wonderful job by Tony Kukoc. Speaking of extra passes, Kukoc delivered one, and Allen Iverson strokes the baseline jumper. Pressure again for the Hornets, they three-quarter pressure, they wanted to change some things. Geiger denied at the rim by Fuller. And the putback. Kukoc launches a three that's good. And that is tough to take. Terry's guarding Snow, and Snow's guarding Terry, so the quickness is staying away from the quickness. Kukoc gave up the shot to Ratliff, who leads the way with eight. The league's leading rebounder is rejected by Ratliff. Kukoc to Iverson. He's in the book. Oh, two break, but still Iverson with the steal. He's fourth in the league. Oh, yeah. Kukoc! Iverson, a little bounce pass to Kukoc. Kukoc will take it. That looks familiar, doesn't it? That's Kukoc's turn with his side cleared. Oh, what a move. That's very nicely done. Here comes Philadelphia with a one-point lead. Iverson makes it through. A touch pass by Kukoc. Watch Kukoc with the ball. Little touch pass off to Iverson, who gets an easy score. Clears the area for the Sixers. Kukoc and a line to Iverson, who drops the deuce. Compliments of Tony Kuhl. Let's take a look at the Wizards. Shooting about 45% on the year, but tonight struggling at about 40%. They 38 road games. So 25 of those 38, they found themselves behind. They've only come back four times. Kukoc wide open. The look by Allen Iverson, including tonight, will secure that fourth position in the East. Iverson denied. Kukoc beats the shot. Oh! Got it down. <laughs> Tony Kukoc. Soft Tony touch. Kukoc. McKee quickly to Kukoc. Two on one. Holly. An easy lay in. In Indiana, I should say in Virginia, and also out in Denver. Two coach able to put it in. 
and David Thompson became a whale of a player. Kukoc able to put it in. Tony Kukoc now a double figures. He's one of the best condition athletes in the NBA. Kukoc, nice feed. Iverson able to get the roll, and Philadelphia their largest lead. And again, that back injury you spoke of really set him back as Kukoc with an easy two. Decision. Getting some minutes and taking advantage of it. Gobbles up the rebound. Out to Tony Kukos. Into George Wentz. What a play. Yeah, Indiana. Kukos again. Tony Kukos has taken over this game. That's four in a row. Going to raise a little bit more offense himself because he's got that ability to do it. Speak and you shall be granted your wish. Huh? Well, I think he makes them a lot tougher. Here is Kukos for three, and he's got it. So Kukos hitting his first field goal of the series by Eric Snowy. Four on two, and Kukos waits for Jones to get away and buries the shot for the Sixers. And uh, Elvin Campbell for Charlotte, a lot more aggressive. Ah, great. great feed from Kukos to Radliff. You can see the Sixers are so much more beneficial having a passer like him. And a four on three, Kukos open for the jumper. He's got it after all of the hoopla by the Charlotte Hornets early. And Kukos with a, a dagger of sorts. Jones loses him and goes in blocked by Radliff. Four blocks by Theo Radliff and the Sixers on the roll again. Wide open, Kukos for three. Yes. Here's McKee, Wesley covering him, and here is Kukos driving the middle, scoring! Tony totally Kukos now! The lead is two. It's interesting how they're using Kukos to run the attack up on top. Kukos, three-point basket by Kukos, his third of the game. Philadelphia, Tony Kukos for three! Well, fine, 76ers. Coming up on 20 seconds from Annie, here's Kukos for three! Plenty of time on the 24, Kukos behind the back not pretty but able to hit in los angeles sixers for the 34 31 but here's kuko yes give tyrone hill credit for that basket kuko got one out of three just cooked it up and it counts on the other side of the floor tony said no bring it over here i got it down low in the right block Nine second differential between the game clock and the 24. Tony Kuko has the touch. McKee and Snow and Lynch and Ratliff. Theo Ratliff with the rejection. Kuko beating Rose. The game is caught. Out there. Seeking so faking around at that time. Nice move for Tony Kuko. Beautiful play. He'll get open looks when he's out there with the likes of Trewell and Yusuf. It's Kuko knocks down a three. Tony tantalizes Shandy now. Perimeter. Kukoc gets right past Camby. Very poor defense that time for Marcus Cam. And no interior help. Iverson gets away from the double team. Kicks it back out. Kukoc on the little fake. The soft jumper once again. Tony Kukoc five for five from the field. Still in the game. Yeah, especially since he's been banged up a little bit. Kukoc the runner. Tony <laughs> Kukoc just magnificent. Led by as many as ten. Kukoc. Three-pointer for Tony Kukoc in a five-point Philadelphia lead. Leading the NBA in scoring. Hey, I hate to tell you, Shaq's going <laughs> to lead the NBA in scoring. Another long jumper for Tony Kukoc. 14. Kukoc is the go-to guy right now. This time he's got Mark Jackson on him after a switch, and he makes it look easy. Kukoc, that's for two, and down it goes. It's good to see Tony getting back on track. We're on the seesaw now with a heat up one that's facing on the flyby, and Kukoc burying the deuce for the fourth. Kukoc has McLean, and he wants him. Oh, Beautiful easy. move by Tony Kukoc. I mean, that's a matchup the 76ers should be able to exploit. Broken loose by Tyrone, and now Iverson. Eric Snow gets away with a walk. It's Kukoc for three, and down it goes. And it's stripped. Here comes Philly. Kukoc to Iverson. Behind the back to Kukoc. Back to Iverson. Pretty. Unreal. Unreal. The nifty passing. And here in Philly, they certainly love him because he can do a lot of things most people can't. Kukoc will tee it up. That's a two for Kukoc. 
Allen Iverson will give Tony Kukoc a triple. That's right there. Now Kukoc spins in and got it over Matumbo. Left alone, drive. Three Hawks in the air, one of them with a foul, and two coach the basket. Lynch, the shovel back to Allen, has a man, it's Geiger. One more, two coach, who delivers two. That is basketball. We're here for the 76. This two coach goes up, basket goes in. I have no idea why he continues to take it. Tony Kukoc drives in from the left side to get the bucket. And Lynch cleaning up. Kukoc up front with Ratliff and Lynch. The brilliant stop and go by Tony Kukoc. And change gone in the final quarter. Kukoc for two and he got it. Tony Kukoc, the fifth sixer into double figures. He's got ten. Without Allen, he's not going to get that many attempts with Tony. Fires up the long ball, knocks it down. And guys that can put the ball on the floor. He's not a guy that just stands inside and blocks shots. He'll block them all different kinds of ways. And nice pick and roll by Todd McCullough. Underneath. Oh. And rejected by Ratliff. My goodness. Coco the other way. Iverson shoots on Lopez. Ruffin helps out for a moment. Iverson gets the lane. Coco for three. Looking for Sanchez on the cut, not there. Tony steps between defenders and lays it in. Franchise high, 10-0 start this year. Tony Kukoc with a move again. Now there is a, a four-inch difference here in Kukoc's favor. Here is pretty. Kukoc to McCullough. Daniel Marshall loses it to Kukoc. Beating towards him to lays it in. Covering from arthroscopic knee surgery. And it's Kukoc from the other side. So finally, Kukoc gets it with about eight on the clock, however. And they'll play that left hand, and you're in pretty good shape. Man. He still hits it. He still hits it. I mean, you do everything right, and he still scores. Passed inside. Shot no. Rebound tipped outside at the buzzer. Kukoc. Shoot. He's picked up by Mason. Drives into the lane to the glass with the left hand up and in. Look at Kukoc, a left-hander that goes left. Officials call this game. First foul on Baker, Kukoc. Again, the left-hander who loves to go left. Well, outside of Kukoc. Madison forces him to his right, and he still hits. A follow-away lefty in front of his own bench. 10.46 to go in the ballgame. Iverson in the corner, Kukoc. He's been dead. And he hits a three. If they make the extra pass, there it is. It's Kukoc shooting and making for three as the final minute of the quarter. As he knocks the ball back and the Sixers getting it back, Kukoc left open and hitting the three. Everyone flowed to the basket. Kukoc stopped and he pulled up and hit the three. Kukoc is open. He tries a three and he makes good. Deep left corner, Iverson. Iverson spins through traffic, rolls it up and over, won't get it down. The tap will go. Oh, it's Kukoc. Kukoc has a size advantage, uses it over corner. What a nice move. It had been six momentarily. Kukoc for three. Now Iverson said, well, let's get the other side. Oh. Clear it out so Kukoc can do that. The five on the shot clock. Kukoc takes a long three and hits. Oh, my. Man, Kukoc. Kukoc gets a step on Ferry, lays it over the top of it. Iverson, a mad scramble here down by 16. Kukoc, milks the clock. Fires on Nowitzki. Tony Kukoc, that's the dagger. Kukoc, McCullough, Jones, as you say, the fifth man. And there is Kukoc, long range, hitting the three. Taylor Kukoc. Pretty shot. Tony Kukoc pulls up. Guarded by Rodgers. Got by him on the baseline. And reversed it in. Well, a little flash of Kukoc's brilliance the last couple of possessions. Kukoc again. Pull up shot. He's still on the money. Tony Kukoc has scored three straight baskets. Kukoc with eight points in the last four minutes. Buford got it. And Allen Iverson back in. Is there? He missed right underneath. And here's Kukoc for Philadelphia. Pretty move, Kukoc. All right. Lewis doesn't know. He's the guy that told us they went for 355. He probably better get all he can. Tony Kukos with a three. He scored five straight points. Found it, but came up short. Follows no good. Back tap to Kukos. He misses. Second time. It stays. <laughs>